Welcome to Movies Recapped. Today we will recap another movie from 2015 entitled, Knock Knock, in which a devoted husband and father is left alone for the weekend when two stranded young women seek his help. Initially a kind gesture, the encounter turns into a dangerous seduction and a deadly game of cat and mouse. Let's dive in. The story starts with Evan and Karen live a charmed life in California with their two kids and a little dog. She is a sculptor preparing for her biggest show, while he is an architect. One morning, as the family sits down to eat breakfast, Karen's assistant Louis walks into the house, bringing catalogs for her exhibition. They all joke around, and Evan asks his kids if they have everything ready for the weekend trip to the beach with their mom. Karen shows the main parts of her sculpture to Louis, explaining that it's still drying, and he promises to pick it up once it's dry to take it to the gallery. As Karen and the kids get ready to go, she tells Evan that his physical therapist Vivian will be there the next day. The kids beg Evan to come with them on the weekend trip, but he needs to stay and work. On a dark and rainy night, Evan continues to work on his computer while listening to music on his super fancy turntable. He gets a call from Karen, who tells him that they already miss him. Later, Evan works long into the night, making 3D printed models of his architectural designs. Suddenly, he hears a knock at the front door, and when he opens it, he finds two girls looking for someone whose name he doesn't recognize. Reluctantly, he lets them in to use his computer and help them find the right address they were supposed to go. Evan goes to get towels for Belle and Genesis on his iPad. When he returns, they are elsewhere in the house. They introduce themselves, and Genesis says they got lost on their way to a party because of a mispronounced street name. Evan orders an Uber for them in 45 minutes. The girls ask Evan to dry their clothes and he gives them extra robes. He tries to dry Genesis' phone with rice. While waiting, they drink tea and discuss Evan's huge record collection. The girls are surprised to learn he DJed in his 20s. As the conversation continues, Evan shares that his wife and kids are away on a weekend trip, and the girls feel sorry for him being alone. However, things get a bit uncomfortable when Genesis starts making flirtatious comments, but Belle quickly changes the topic and compliments Evan on his wife and their love life. Evan gushes about Karen's artwork, and the girls ask about her sculptures not being at MoMA. He shows them Karen's art show catalog for an upcoming exhibition in LA, impressing them both. They then discuss relationships and monogamy, with Belle sharing her unconventional views on having threesomes to prevent cheating. The conversation shifts to the girls' profession as flight attendants, and they share their experiences and travel stories. They also engage in some gossip about their co-workers and continue to bring the topic back to lovemaking, making Evan increasingly nervous. To distract them, Evan changes the record and starts DJing for Belle, who enjoys the music and dancing. They have a great time at his house and express that they are glad they met him. Belle mentions that it feels like destiny to have such a fun time with him instead of going to the original party they planned to attend. She flirts with him and tries to kiss him, but when the Uber arrives, Belle goes to get Genesis and he goes to get their clothes. When the girls don't arrive at the door, Evan looks for them in the bathroom. He finds them naked and they claim it's a surprise. Evan acts prudish at first, but eventually gives in to their advances. The Uber leaves because no one answers Evan's calls. Evan has a threesome with the girls in the bathtub and then in his bed. They fall asleep together, but Evan wakes up alone the next day. He responds to his wife's text, puts his wedding band back on, and gets dressed. He finds the girls making a mess in the kitchen. Evan gets angry at their behavior and offers to drive them home. The girls laugh at him, making him even angrier. Evan realizes he has a problem on his hands. His wife calls, and he talks to her while the girls mess with him in the background. Evan ends the call, frustrated with the girls. He curses and yells at them, telling them to get up and get dressed. When he goes to get them, he can only find Genesis. He looks for Belle and finds her in his closet. She asks him to hold her and throws herself onto him, saying she loves him. Evan takes her back to Genesis and gives them three minutes to get dressed. He waits outside, finishes a cigarette, and goes back in to get them. He sees them painting on top of Karen's sculpture, gets angry, and flings Genesis off the sculpture. He grabs the pen from Belle and asks them if they understand what they've done. They claim to have been inspired by the previous night. Evan considers calling the police, but Genesis warns against it, mentioning their underage status. Belle says she's 15, but Evan is skeptical. Genesis threatens to accuse him of statutory rape and claims to have evidence. Evan is confused and unsure of what to do, so he asks them how much money they want. He's different, but shouldn't get mad. Evan shows his wallet, offending them. Belle slaps him, denies being a prostitute. Doorbell rings, Vivian arrives, therapist. 
he informs her he's better and doesn't require therapy. Vivian rambles until Genesis emerges and orders her to go. Evan enters, finding the girls messing with his turntable. He pushes Belle away and attempts to kick them out, but they persistently taunt him. Evan gets angry, grabs Genesis by the throat, and Belle gets scared, ready to hit him with a statue if necessary. Evan calls the police, Genesis asks for a ride, and they leave. Evan cleans his house. Later, after taking a tablet, he believes the situation is resolved. Evan returns to work only to hear glass shattering. He discovers a shattered family photo and Genesis strikes him with a sculpture. Evan awakens bound to a bed as Genesis applies makeup. He pleads to be untied, but she ignores him. Suddenly, Belle appears in his daughter's clothes, even her underwear. Evan loses it and yells at her to remove them, calling her crazy. Belle then throws the underwear in its face and taunts Evan, claiming that every girl's first love is their father. Evan tells Belle that she is sick, but she ignores him, engrossed in her games. He pleads for her to untie him, but she remains seated, exposing her troubled past with her father and difficult childhood. Meanwhile, Genesis confirms it was not a dream on the mirror, and Belle starts assaulting Evan. They confuse him with her father, he reaches for his phone and they both try to answer a call from Karen. They threaten to answer the call while unzipping his pants, but he pleads with them not to do it. Belle wants to have sex with him and jumps on him while Genesis records it. Evan breaks free and confronts Genesis, but she stabs him in the shoulder with a fork, causing him to pass out from the pain. The girls tie him up again and play a game with him like a game show. Genesis plays the MC while Belle is a contestant. Evan calls them liars and Genesis hurts his ears with noises from his turntable. He cries out in pain and she stops. Genesis continues the game, but Evan refuses to participate, so she hurts him again. Evan answers a question pleasingly, and Genesis plays more noise to prove her point. Evan caves and answers another question, but he doesn't know how to respond. The doorbell rings, and Lewis comes to pick up a sculpture. The girls cover Evan up and hide him, pretending he is not there. Lewis enters, sees something wrong with the sculpture, and the girls blame someone else. Lewis doesn't believe them and wants to call the cops. Genesis tries to hit on him, but he sees through their lies. Lewis confronts the girls, but Evan begins to make noise and Lewis rushes to free him from restraints. However, he decides to deal with the girls first upon hearing them destroy the sculpture. Lewis yells at them but has an asthma attack. They steal his inhaler and joke around with it. Evan begs for them to give it back, but Lewis falls and hits his head. The girls laugh and ignore Evan's pleas for help. Evan believes they killed Lewis, but Genesis blames Lewis' wife. They bring Evan back inside and make a sculpture out of Lewis's body. Evan tries to reach his gun, but Genesis sends a threatening text. They put Lewis's body in his van. The girls return and continue their game show charade with Evan. Evan pleads for his life, blaming the girls for starting everything. Genesis tells him he'll be executed at dawn. The girls apologize and dig a grave for Evan in his backyard before returning inside. Genesis takes his clothes and they deface Karen's sculptures and design models. The girls give him a bowl cut, destroy his house and Karen's artwork. They find a gun, untie him, and Genesis challenges him to hide and seek. Evan has 30 seconds to hide inside the house. If they don't find him by sunrise, they will leave. Evan grabs a knife and hides in the kitchen as the girls count down. When he thinks they're far enough, he runs out and Genesis catches him. She tells him he can scream, but no one will hear him because no one's home. At dawn, the girls roll Evan to a grave, burying him up to his neck. He begs for his life. Evan promises to behave, but Genesis removes the gag. He tries bargaining for his life, but Genesis offers to let him go if he calls his family and confesses everything. Evan agrees, but when Genesis calls his wife's phone and reaches her answering machine, he panics and screams for help. Genesis silences him again, revealing that his wife hung up after hearing Karen's voicemail. They toy with him, pretending to drop a sculpture on his head but instead drop it next to him. Evan breaks down in tears while they mock him and claim this is all just a game. Before leaving, they admit they are not underage and do one final thing to Evan. Belle uploads a recording of her and Evan onto Facebook, leaving the phone in front of him. Evan desperately tries to delete the video, but accidentally hits, like, instead of, delete. When Evan's family returns home the next day, they are greeted with the chaotic aftermath left by the girls. Like, share, and subscribe for more exciting movie recaps, reviews, and behind-the-scenes content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update.